which structure? Arsenal will not ever. Real Madrid yeah. will not even offer him yeah. that kind of so, money. So, so he should forget to, it. He should go to going, China. Yeah. May not, China will even give him. They already no, have China, someone no, any no, of that. No, China, no China, they have someone yeah, any but, of that. But I don't think, uh, to, to, to <laughs> okay. be fair, on, let's listen to, 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 to Sanchez. Uh, he's not the player to go to China. China. At this, really? At this point, okay, he wants 400,000. Can get that in China. We'll listen to Asevenga. Uh, we have never been here as well. And uh, it's as well for us a good way to live together for a few days in a completely different environment. And of course to prepare. We are maybe not uh, super lively at the moment because it just come off the plane. But I promise you on Thursday night it will be different. And for us it's a very important moment of the season. But so that's where we make our success. Oh, that's where we prepare not to be successful. So it's a very important moment of the scene for us. We, are, we, have, we play football based on movement, on technical qualities and uh, mobility. And uh, I believe both of them can uh, integrate well the team. One is a defender who can play on the flank and central. And the other one, of course, is a striker who has a very good goal scoring record. So I believe uh, there are two great additions to the team. And uh, that's a good opportunity as well to have a first look at how well and how quickly they really integrate the, the way we want to play. The goal is very simple, is to win the next game and win every single game. And uh, the Premier League is highly competitive today. You have six, seven teams who can uh, win trophies. And uh, every single trophy is very difficult to win. Uh, so. We'll uh, want to fight for the Premier League, we'll want to fight uh, again for the FA Cup and of course we play the Europa League, we'll try as well uh, to, to win it, but we have to prepare well and uh, continue. We finished well the season, we won uh, 10 of the last 11 games and uh, we want to continue that and uh, start on, uh, in a very strong way. Okay, they're enjoying themselves over there. Okay, when Rooney returning back to Everton, what does he really want to achieve? And also, Maurice Kuma. Uh, also, uh, talking about Kuma. Run out. <laughs> Run out. <laughs> Kuma. I listen to both of them now. <laughs> um, you know, well, I think for us all, you want to do better than you did the previous year. And um, that's what we want to do. We want to keep pushing and, and try and be successful and, and to try and bring trophies to the club. I think. That's what we all want, the players, and the fans, and the, the manager, and that's what we, as players, have got to try and do. I always play like I've got a point to prove. I, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming into a retirement home. I'm, I'm ready to play. I, I want to win. I want to be successful at this football club, and um, that's what I feel. Feel good. Feel um, well, not fit at the minute, but that will build up in the next few weeks, and. Um, I'm excited. I think it's a challenge which I think it's the right time which I need in this period in my career and I'm, um, I'm ready for it. Before me, eldest lad um, was, was the happiest I've ever had, I think. <laughs> and um, also my dad, um, obviously my dad's a huge Evertonian and um, he's gone up to watch me um, for the last 13 years in Manchester and, and now to, he'll have a five minute drive to go and watch me um, play again so I think he's, he's really happy. I'm going there with Everton to try and get three points for Everton. I think, obviously, I had a great um, time at Manchester United. Um, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed working with everyone there. Um, but football moves on. Players move on, and um, I've come back to Everton. And um, certainly, as you said, the fixture is not just United. There's there's other tough games, so we need to make sure we we get the pre-season right, so we're ready for them them challenges when they come about. Now, first of all, the qualities of the player. I think that's that's the most important. And 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 we like to win. We like to win uh, trophies. And 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 that's a feeling that that not all the players have in Everton. And we have a lot of young players. We're trying to get uh, the best team as possible. And uh, that experience, the experience to win titles, is 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 something really important for for Everton. And uh, that's also one of the reasons that we try to uh, to bring uh, Wayne back to Everton. Okay, we know uh, it was uh, one of the challenges uh, for Lukaku, and uh, we knew that. And uh, okay, I think. Uh, 
he took the right uh, decision and okay let's hope uh, that everything will goes well for him because uh, I like him I like the player but uh, it's now about uh, Everton Herrera's ball forward is nodded away here's uh, Dowell again he's been fouled again Lion's share of the chances or the young Lion's share of the chances it's Venezuela who've come closest to giving us a goal. Cook with the ball forward. Calvert Lewin gets up. And again, Calvert Lewin! Brilliant save by Scudders! Dominic Calvert Lewin gives England the lead! Nine minutes before half time, Farinha's made the initial save. But Calvert Lewin was alert and followed up to slot home. And the young Lions roar in Suwon as Farinez is beaten. Up towards Ferraresi who gets the header in. England tried to clear and do clear and the goalkeeper is miles out of his box. And the whistle blows and England are champions of the world. Okay, we'll just read one tweet before we go to the papers. There's so many, but I'll just take this one. Oshina Wakinslin is saying that the problems of Nigerian sport is not lack of talent, but that of administration, infrastructure, youth programs, and remuneration, etc. It went on and on and on. Okay, can I continue reading most of them? No. If you ask you. anybody, I think they'll say the, <laughs> the same thing, mm. uh, most of them. So we we'll go to the papers. Um, yeah. We're on the home stretch. Uh, ladies first. Let's, okay, uh, I'll start with uh, Sports in Life. This one. Uh, Man City, Leicester agree on here in a choke. I hope it's finally true. We're waiting for official confirmation from that. Both clubs signed contracts in principle. Fee could rise up to 25 million and Nigerian turns up for City pre-season training. So he hasn't started training with them. Until we see that, we'll know that it's true. Uh, for <laughs> me, uh, it's, uh, it's something that we've been monitoring. Uh, they've agreed. Yeah, Yesterday, the information that came out was well, both teams have agreed. Mm -hmm. But there are issues in principle, but there are issues needed to be sorted out. One is the buy at buy back clause. Okay. So that uh, if the young man blows some at Leicester, Manchester City will when? quickly. Uh, first refuse. Yeah, first refuse. Yeah, they have the option. Which is a good clause for the club. And two is the image, right? He has issues with, you know, he natural had issues with agents yeah. while he was living here after the team had to broker the deal and uh, sorted the agents, but uh, a particular agent who still owns the image right. So they want him to sort that between the agent so that all those things will be factored into it. And that's why the add-ons do also rights and everything. But for me, I think Ienacho, if he's going to get, but feel us from information I got, uh, Ienacho uh, is being offered the opportunity to play as a supporting striker, the role, because even to play in the top strikers, I don't think he will still go to Leicester and sit on the bench. But to get, to play as a supporting striker, he might he get, get regular. All right, there. all right. Okay, uh, we've got to complete sports. Uh, Quickly, and, and, and this story, the, the, the Tuesday edition, Leukemia Survival gives Ikeme Survival Tips. That's Tillian Petrov, uh, Aston Villa uh, legend, is giving support. Uh, this shows us that, look, it's a battle. You can fight and win. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the entire world has is, is been so fantastic from the media, S International, current, current players, players, goalkeepers, coaches, coaches everybody. everybody, even top government functionaries, everybody been trying to uh, throw their support behind uh, Ikeme. And uh, even Petrov, who survived it, he has also come to say this is what he needs to do. So we just pray. And the young man also have started his, his therapy. Uh, he's also optimistic. So because one of the, uh, the strength, the biggest strength of surviving this is for you to be optimistic and also to be lively and also try to just push Fight. that aside. And but it's going that way. It's All right. Good. Our last paper for review as we prepare to take our leave. Sporting Sun. Uh, we quickly uh, see some of the stories that we've seen. Leicester agree uh, deal with um, Leicester agrees. Something's happening here, but let me just read the paper. <laughs> Let's agree with Ian Nacho. And you have stories about Conte, Dries, Omeru, and others. Uh, Chelsea preseason. Solanke. Solanke. Solanke or Sholanke. Whichever. But he joins Liverpool and um, so other, many other uh, interesting Okay, quickly, stories. let me just talk about Omeru. Omeru trained exactly. with, with, with the Chelsea team, but he doesn't know his destination because he has offers from Turkey. 
He doesn't know his destination, really, yeah. but he has a fast from talking because the training, you know, when I saw the headline, that's why EMA was like, train points me another. I don't get it. I mean, we've been here, we've heard about it. He trains with them, he trains with them, he trains with them. He doesn't get to join the team. He gets no. Well, well, for the first time now, Conte is also watching him very well. Closely. It should be so permanent yeah. so that I can have a future. spoke to him at some yeah. point. Yeah. And yeah. Also, so let's yeah. just see what, how he pans out. Especially okay. with what happened to Moses last night. One tweet before okay, we... Okay, we just read this one. is coming from uh, Chris uh, Nahin. I have to read this one. It says, uh, the Nigerian Women Football League also must be repackaged with innovations that are credible and marketable to attract sponsorship. Follow the needs support. That's the one that's coming from yeah, Chris Nahin. He yeah. also said that uh, when we have competitive MPFL League, uh, the boss will make companies to scramble for sponsorship and NFL need yeah. to also repackage the deal. One guy's actually Same asking thoughts, Ahmed. different words. He yes. says, I, I still think Morata is a better striker than Lukaku. All right. <laughs> we can't get into that debate now because we have to go. Toby, want to thank you for your time, as okay. always. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll do this some other time. <laughs> yeah, it's always a pleasure to be here. All right. That's how we wrap up the show. Thanks for joining us today. We'll do this again um, tomorrow. Bye-bye now. <laughs> thank you. I'm Cecilia. I'm all there.